You're watching Telecom TV and joining me now from Kansas City in the US is Jeff Edland, CMS Chief Technology Officer at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Jeff, good to see you again on Telecom TV. Thank you, it's great to be here. Um, let's talk uh, about 5G and HPE's role in supporting telcos. What is driving the need at the moment for a new 5G network? Well, I think there are really three things that are driving for uh, the necessity of having a 5G network. One is uh, the explosion of data that's occurring in the industry and people's hunger for it. The second is we have a whole new suite of applications that are starting to emerge that um, are both data hungry, but they also require very low latency for them to operate correctly. And then if you look at enterprises across the globe, all of them are going through a digital transformation. And as they digitize more parts of their business, the requirements of the network really start to skyrocket. So what are the challenges presented by 5G for telcos? Well, I think there are a number of challenges. Um, the first one is a, a completely new architectural design for the network. Previously, networks were built in a real hierarchical fashion where you had a core, you had some data centers, you had central offices, and then eventually out to the towers. In a 5G network, the design requires that you push compute and storage as far out to the edges as you possibly can in order to achieve some of the low latency aspects that these new um, applications are requiring. So that really changes up the model completely for the CSP. I think the second big challenge is a, more of a business challenge, and that is that the way that 5G is designed, it's designed on cloud native principles, and it allows you to very rapidly instantiate new applications, reduces those service uh, cycle times in order to get a new service um, into play for the customers. And so the CSPs really have to change the way that they behave so that they can uh, react to their customers, both consumer and enterprise, much more quickly, leverage the cloud native design of the 5G network, and really help these uh, enterprises through their digital transformation with a much more agile network than we've had before. Well, let's pick up on that last point, if we can. Um, and what about the, the needs of the enterprise and how can telcos help them? I think that the way that the telco can really help the enterprise uh, is to engage with them and engage in a way where they're not selling a network pipe. Um, they're no longer selling transport. What I would like to see the CSPs do is to really engage the enterprise and focus in on outcomes and services. And it's through the delivery of those outcomes and services that they'll be able to change their business model and they'll be able to get out of this situation where they've been becoming a commoditized pipe. It'll make their uh, revenues and their margins much more compelling. And I, I think overall, it will benefit the entire ecosystem of both the service provider and the enterprise that's consuming services from them. Now, you've covered the, the challenges, so what is HPE's solution? So HPE, we feel like we've never been in a better position um, through the generations of the networks and our generations of relationship with the telcos. So we offer uh, infrastructure that's specifically designed to be a cloud. We can put that uh, infrastructure in a telco carrier grade quality into the data center. We have infrastructure that sits out at the edge that's specifically designed to drive and power the edge. Additionally, um, we have our own clean sheet set of network functions that we've built uh, in order to deliver a cloud native 5G service-based architecture for our customers. And then we've partnered with uh, best of breed partners and we're focusing in on use cases. So rather than going and saying to the CSP, hey, we've got a, you know, a better widget, we're going to the CSP and we're saying, you know, with your customers, we can help you 
to deliver these sets of use cases and these sets of services and help you monetize those. So if you look at HPE uh, right now, we can definitely provide um, a full stack of 5G solution for uh, the, our CSP customers. And we're really focusing in on helping them to enable the use cases that they can monetize. Why does 5G advocate a new network core? Well, if you looked at the previous generations of the service providers network, they were basically built using proprietary appliances that were relatively inflexible. And in 4G and NFV, we went uh, through an effort to actually liberate the software out of the appliance and put it in a virtual machine, looking for more flexibility. What we really ended up with was um, software monoliths that were running in virtual machines that were relatively inflexible. So with a clean sheet approach and a cloud-based design for 5G, what you end up doing is building small leverageable microservices that can be used across many different applications and allows the service provider to very quickly um, very rapidly build, test, and deliver new application services to their customers. So what is HPE's solution for the 5G core and what makes it unique? What we think uh, is unique about us is, first off, we have not uh, taken any of the bits that we used to use and that we created for 4G, 3G, 2G networks and leveraged them into 5G. We started with a clean sheet of paper and said, we're gonna build this from cloud native principles from the ground. I think the second thing that's really uh, an advantage for HPE is we're data experts. We're very good at um, managing, leveraging, and utilizing extremely large high transaction databases. And as you can imagine, a subscriber in a carrier network, you need to retain their entitlements, you need to retain uh, their device information, you need to be able to respond with all of that information for any sort of requesting application very quickly. Then I think the third thing that we have is um, a great set of partners around us that fill in expertise gaps where HPE really doesn't play. So you wouldn't look to HPE to stand up a tower or to stand up a base station controller. So we use partners uh, to fill in the places where we don't have expertise, and we use best of breed partners so that when the carrier comes to us, they can get a best of breed, um, multi-vendor supported, supportable solution that will meet their business needs rather than buying a very tightly integrated vertical black box that they really have little flexibility to do anything with. So if we can turn to hardware then, how has HPE optimized industry standard infrastructure for telco networks? So we've done a couple of things. One is we, we feel like we build uh, some of the best hardware in the entire world, whether it's uh, commodity, uh, common off the shelf uh, hardware or not. We've telco hardened much of that uh, hardware. And then we go an extra step and we create what we call telco blueprints. And those blueprints describe how the hardware should be connected, how the hardware is configured, and what the operating stack uh, sitting on top of it has um, access to in order to, to deliver the highest availability, the highest scalability, and the lowest latency for our customers. We take that same um, set of principles and we transport the, that from the core hardware um, into products that we build specifically for the edge. They're called edge line. And um, they are servers uh, that allow you to essentially put a cloud native data center on the edge of the network. Um, and we have many partners that are actually leveraging um, this technology from us. An example would be Samsung. They use our EdgeLine 8000 uh, to put their VRAN on. So we really provide end-to-end -end, uh, infrastructure that the enterprise and uh, the CSP needs in order to deliver a complete solution. Now, 
telcos have invested huge amounts of capital in building out 3G and then 4G. How will 5G be different? Well, let's make no, no illusion. It's going to cost money to implement the 5G network. Um, I think the big difference is going to be uh, after the cap initial capital investment has been made. The 5G network, particularly the service-based architecture behind it, is cloud native. And it's designed specifically for openness and the ability to allow the service provider to very rapidly bring on new services, instantiate them, and deliver them to customers. I think another important point here is the availability of programmers and people that can that have cloud native skills. There's a, a vast number of those students coming out of college. There's more of those people out in the marketplace. Whereas uh, proprietary telco skills that happened in the 2G, 3G, 4G networks, um, that skill pool is much smaller. So I think that this really gives the opportunity for the carrier after they make the switch over to a 5G service-based architecture to really reduce the economics associated with bringing new applications and services to their customers. Is there any way that telcos can reduce the amount of upfront investment required of 5G? Uh, yes, there really is. And I think that this is another key differentiator that HPE can bring to the table. So we have our own financial services business, but even beyond that, we have technology called GreenLake. And GreenLake, what that allows for the service provider to do is put infrastructure, put our solution into their data centers, put it out at the edge, and then GreenLake allows us to um, charge the service provider on in an as-a-service model. So they aren't putting out the outlay of capital for everything, what they're doing is they're actually paying us for what they consume. And we can help our service provider customers with this type of technology and a financial instrument. And it'll really help them take down their initial costs associated with deploying a 5G network. And to conclude then, Jeff, what's, what's the... Um Let's conclude with, with a, a summary, if you can, and, and wrap all this up. So to conclude, what's HPE's strategy for 5G? Well, our strategy is really to leverage our entire company and to leverage our partner relationships that we have. We build great infrastructure for the core. We build fantastic infrastructure for the edge. We have a business unit within uh, HPE called Communications and Media Solutions that designs the software that runs the 5G network. I think another thing that's really important to understand about HPE is we have this Wi-Fi property called Aruba. And Wi-Fi 6 uh, is the next generation of Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is not going to go away. As a matter of fact, we see that in building, Wi-Fi will still be very dominant for the foreseeable future. And because we have this Wi-Fi property and we have a te core telco business unit, we can build some interesting things into the 5G network, such that policy traverses the mobile network to the fixed Wi-Fi network, Things like um, QoS, QoE, Traverse, we can enable security, we can enable very efficient handoff. So we can put the CSP in a position, whereas they're going to address the enterprise, they can address the enterprise's full needs, whether it's the on-campus and building network, or it's the mobilizing of the enterprise applications outside of that enterprise. So we feel like we have a compelling offer that's very flexible, um, designed and supported uh, by HPE, and we feel like it can really help the service providers uh, differentiate their offer. Jeff, thank you very much indeed for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you. It was my pleasure to be here.